I'm fortunate in that I've had the opportunity to meet with the best scientists in the world that anybody could ever meet. But the most famous and most impactful person on my quest is Ben Franklin. Now, when I say that, it sounds kind of archaic to say that. 1751, he brought bloodletting to Philadelphia, and that was the cause of building this hospital. What does bloodletting have to do with nitric oxide and all the things I want to talk to you about today? And the answer is everything. So without blood getting to the part, it cannot deliver oxygen. So let me tell you what the mechanism is. So when the lining of the blood vessel, which is called the endothelium, it's only one cell thick. When they were doing the original experiments, and this is Dr. Murad and his group, and they looked at a piece of aortic tissue, which is muscle, and they were sliced uh, in a couple of centimeters thick. And the investigator was putting them into a chemical solution, which was called acetylcholine. Sometimes he would grab it one way, and another time he would grab it a different way. Sometimes it contracted, and sometimes it expanded, which didn't make any sense. So Dr. Murad looked at the experiment, and he said, let me see that again. One time he grabbed it like that, one time he grabbed it like that. Why? 